In this video, we'll show you how to calibrate a load cell using fidgets. Start by installing your load cell in the system you'll be using it in. Here, we have a weighing kit with a 5 kilogram load cell installed. When the top plate is added, it looks like this. Connect your load cell to your fidget. Here, we'll be using the Wheatstone Bridge fidget and we'll be connecting to channel 0. We now have our Wheatstone Bridge fidget connected to our system. We're using a Vintub fidget and a USB cable to connect everything to our computer. Now that everything is connected, we can use the fidget control panel to calibrate our system. Start by opening the control panel. Here, we can see the Wheatstone Bridge fidget. Double click on channel 0 to open the bridge input. We can see the raw voltage ratio being reported from the device. If we load the scale, we can see the value change. In order to convert this raw voltage ratio into more meaningful units like grams or pounds, we need to calibrate our system. This is a simple process where we collect two data points, one when the system is unloaded and the other when the system is loaded with a known weight. We can start by pressing the Begin Calibration button. The first data point we'll collect is when the system is unloaded, or in other words, when the system should output zero. This calibration point will help remove any offsets associated with your system. When you're ready, press Continue. The next data point we'll collect is the non-zero load calibration point. In this step, we'll apply a known weight to our system. To start, we'll measure the weight of an object using a trusted scale. We can then load our system with the same weight and enter the known value into the text box. Our weight is in units of grams, so as a result, the output of our calibration will also be in grams. The closer your calibration weight is to your system capacity, the more accurate your results will be. Here, for example, we would have more accurate results with a 5 kg weight for our 5 kg system. When your measurement has stabilized, the Continue button will be available to press. Our calibration is now complete. We can see the weight appear under the raw voltage ratio. If we remove the weight, we can see the value drop down to zero, and if we apply the weight again, we can see it jump back to the actual weight of the object. This program provides two calibration parameters, gain and offset. You'll need to use these parameters in your own software to calculate weight with the following formula. As we can see from the formula, the offset is removed from the raw voltage ratio and the gain is then applied to convert from units of volts per volt to the units used during calibration. Here's an example program that's available on our website in multiple programming languages. We can copy the gain from the control panel example into our program. To get the most accurate results, we recommend recalculating your offset in your software as often as your application allows. This is beneficial because things like temperature change can have a significant impact on your offset. In this program, for example, the offset is recalculated every time it's run. We can now close the control panel example and run our program. The output weight will have units determined by your gain. In our example, the output is in grams. If we load the system with the same weight we used previously, we can see that the output is the same. Here are some key points to summarize what we've learned. Calibration is required to convert the raw voltage ratio from a load cell to more useful units like grams, pounds, newtons, and more. Your load cell should be installed in the system you'll be using before calibrating. In order to calibrate your system, you'll need a known weight. The closer your calibration weight is to your system's capacity, the more accurate your calibration will be. For more accurate results, recalculate your offset as often as possible. Thanks for watching this video.